Hello loves, I just want to start off by apologizing, I know I've been kind of MIA, I accidentally deleted all my pre-recorded videos, so I literally had nothing to post for um, all of last week, but I'm back with this really cute jack-o'-lantern look that I got from one of my girlfriends, Sarah, shout out to you girl, so stay tuned. So I already have my foundation on, so that's what's going on with that area of my face, pretty much the whole area of my face, I don't know why I'm trying to separate my face like that. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going ahead and just doing my my eyebrows first because I feel like that would be the best thing to do so I went ahead and just did my eyebrows the way I normally would and then went ahead and added the triangle thingies on top of the eyebrows as you can see and now I am cleaning it all up with my concealer um, honestly so for this video I was watching the cheetah girl so there's some parts okay let me let me let, let me make something clear I have already watched the cheetah girls which means I have culture, unlike my trusty friend that I'm on the phone with who has never watched the Cheetah Girls. Yes, I'm coming at you, Sarah, so we can fight, okay? I don't understand why, but of course, the moment she told me, I was like, girl, sit down and get on Netflix. We're watching it together, and we're going to watch it as a unit. So th there's going to be moments of that. You you'll see. Anyway, so now I'm going in and using a black pencil liner and kind of just tracing out the jack-o'-lantern look and kind of just making sure that I am paying attention to what the model has on her face and tracing out. I noticed that mine kind of came out a little bit different than hers, but that's okay because this is just my rendition of it. You know, it's not going to be absolutely perfect. I just, you know, did what I knew to do. So I'm going ahead and adding these triangle thingies, as you can see, kind of making almost like little diamond shapes. Like, I, I don't know if you can see, like, the top part is like a triangle and then I went ahead and created a diamond shape on the bottom area um, of the triangles if that makes sense I feel like I'm not making any sense also another thing is when I filmed this it was towards like the end of the day so like the Sun was setting so my shadows are all messed up my lighting is all funky but it's okay because I did it for you all and I hope you all actually really enjoy it so I started off with using an orange paint color that I got from Walmart it was like one of the palettes that I got from Walmart one of the basic Halloween ones and I didn't really like the sponge that it came with and I also didn't like the orange so what I did was I used the orange that was there and and the, a little bit of the red and kind of mix it up on my hand while I was doing my makeup and that kind of created that nice vibrant orange honestly in my opinion I probably should have started off with a white base to kind of make the colors pop a little bit more but I decided to kind of try it out and kind of just give the pigment the benefit of the doubt it kind of came out okay in my opinion but you know could have been better it could have been better anyways now I'm going in with the brush that came with the palette and I'm using the yellow that was also in that palette and I'm filling in the areas of the triangles that I created with the orange so kind of trying to create a nice like orange to yellow gradient effect in between the colors I think she has said something silly here and I was like man I'm tired of stuff <laughs> but you know it's okay it's okay I, I love you I love you Sarah don't, don't get mad don't get mad so here I'm going in with that lip brush and kind of just bringing in the orange a little bit. Um, before the next clip comes in, I just want to let y'all know I thought I was recording, but I wasn't. And I went ahead and filled in this the jaggedy area with black as well as my nose. Um, I Honestly, I thought I was filming and I looked up and I was like, Are you kidding me? Self! But it was too late. It's not like I could have walked it off. So please, please don't be mad at me, y'all. I'm, I'm trying. So I went ahead and just filled in that area with the black that came with that Walmart palette and just kind of filled in over my lips, my nose, and kind of created more of the um, those sparky lines. And then I traced it over with white. And now using a light fruffy, fruffy, what the heck is fruffy? Fluffy <laughs> brush, I am dipping into the Huda Beauty uh, textured eyeshadow palette in the rose gold edition and using the color henna and adding it to the eyebrow area of my eye. And I also brought it in towards the bridge of my nose. And now I'm using the color Trust Fun and using my finger, I'm kind of tapping in the color to the base area of my eye, the rest of it pretty much, and kind of just adding it in. And then I'm using the color 24K, also from the same palette, and adding it to the inner part of my eye. Using the color Coco, I'm using a bigger fluffy brush and adding it to the crease area of my eye and kind of just blending in all the colors together. And then going in with Black Truffle, also from the same palette, I'm kind of cleaning up any 
black blank areas on my lips and face area that I saw that were starting to kind of peep through. So I didn't mention it before, but I used the color henna to add a little bit more pop and pizzazz um, underneath the eye area, and then I went ahead and lined it, added my mascara, and this is the finished look. If you like what you see, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, peace and love makes the world go round. Thanks for watching. Mwah.